Jean Dubarry, out in theaters, new film written, directed by and starring Mei Wen, uh, together with Johnny Depp. Uh, it's a mix of a costume piece, historical biopic, drama, and a fair bit of comedy as well, and romance, of course. Uh, it tells the story of the life of uh, Jeanne du Barry, uh, and more specifically her relationship with the French King Louis XV. Uh, the challenge is coming from the fact that Jeanne was a commoner, an illegitimate uh, child turned into a courtesan, who then caught the royal eye and uh, became the king's uh, most important lover, uh, much to the chagrin of many other people at court. Uh, it's a surprisingly cozy and fun and pleasant film to watch. Um, the blossoming romance is, is, is just generally pleasant to experience. There's very little actual drama when you think about it. Uh, the most tense moments in the film revolve around the young Marie Antoinette refusing to speak a word to Jeanne and um, whether she will say something or not in the end, uh, um, which is quite funny and, and it is quite absurd uh, when you look at it through the modern lens uh, and the film isn't really afraid to, to laugh at many such absurdities, not just again through the the lens of the modern camera but also uh, by having the characters in the story directly address these these absurdities that surrounded the, the royal life at the time uh, the rules governing what could and could not be done and said around the king etc uh, it is genuinely funny and again the characters themselves recognize and comment on it uh, my Wen is excellent in the lead role she's a wonderful mixture of sort of confident sex appeal and kind, simple, naive even, aloofness. Um, she's really a joy to spend time with, uh, to put it simply. Uh, Johnny Depp is fine, I think. I really liked Benjamin Laverne, who plays the king's most trusted servant. He does a lot with very subtle looks and gestures and expressions, and in many of the scenes he, he, he sort of almost becomes the heart of the film, uh, the unexpected ally to, to Jean. <clears throat> I love the costumes and hairstyles, and I like how the lavish, the lavish life um, at Versailles is presented to us. Uh, the way that the palace is often shown basking in the morning sun, with the camera sort of pointing up at the at, at the at the sky, and then just slowly panning down as if to to reveal that the palace itself is in heaven, with angelic choirs playing on on the score. It it really makes this seem like sort of otherworldly place like Jean, uh, Jeanne is literally ascending to the heavens when she starts her relationship with the king uh, in general the cinematography is pretty great uh, even the early parts of the film made me think it looks like a series of paintings overall I like the film quite a lot uh, I think it's a uh, for a costume piece again it, it's surprisingly lacking in in pathos, in, in serious dramatic tones, uh, instead opting for a warmer, pleasant, light-hearted and humorous atmosphere, despite the fact that the story itself does have somber moments as well.